<laughs> Hi everybody, today for our tutorial I will cast the machine with my yarn put it in the middle cast on one in the front, one in the back for the first row and when I arrive here, since I have two different yarn, I will put one in this hole and the other one on the top, like this. And I will crank it. My yarn, open the yarn feeder, put it in the middle, put my scrap yarn to do my waist yarn, put that in the middle. Now I have the body of my little bunny. So we are back with the body. I should not put the waist yarn on it because I have to remove it after. So I close one side. So one side is closed. There. Put it inside. And I will go and close this side too. I'm just going to go and grab my uh, my stitches back like this. So I will grab all my stitches like this and I will remove the blue yarn after. After that, I pull a little bit on the blue yarn to remove it, so I could pull on my work. Actually, it was easier to to do that like this than to grab on the machine. So I did a mistake, and suddenly it's a good idea. <laughs> Yeah. 
I did the cast on. Open the yarn feeder. And just crank. I use some waist yarn. And I suggest minimum five rows when you do waist yarn. If you do less, it's okay if you're comfortable with it, but sometimes it's better to have a little bit more to keep the stitches together. for the project so for the ears I will go and put one in this hole and the other one here close it put it right side the other tail of pink and I will just crank One, two, three, and it will release from the machine in the same time. So this is for the ears. For the ears you know that you need two ears so you would have to five ten and five of waist yarn to do your ears stretch it now with the size four crochet I find my white tail put that in one side and I will go grab my stitches one by one so that way I will close my tube Almost at the end. Make sure to grab all the stitches. There's always a side that is more easy than the other one because it's the start and the end of the machine. It's like a secure thing that the machine does, so it's okay. I mean, you're not ready. you're not in a hurry, so and I'm not too. I'm just relaxing at home today.
then just pull. So that way you can keep your waist yarn for next time. So this one is uh, between here. Side is done. I will do same thing the other side. Stretch a little bit more. So I have my body, my two ears, rows, and both of my ears were 10 rows each. And I put some waist yarn in the beginning and at the end, okay? And I will bring the needle in the middle. There. When this done, I do a double knot to keep it everything together, and then I will stretch it. When it's stretching off, I will grab some thing to. A, a little our little rabbit there The body is done. Time to finish my little ears.
dried the tail. Now I will close my ears. There, so one year is done. Well, finished the other one now. So I will attach both little ears together. This attach both together, so it will be easier to attach on the little bunny. Like this. Grab one stitch like this. Here. So I got my little bunny. Double knot in the back. it in the body so I will prepare my little tail with the pom-pom clover maker not the smallest one but the second small one so I just turn around one side like this and when it's gonna be full I'm gonna go to the other side I put it fast so <laughs> very very fast sorry for that but the video was a little bit too long so I decided to put the fast button to help the video to be not too long so it was full the other side we go this side and we do the same thing Pretty. 
when this one will be full we will close the clover pom-pom maker and we will cut it cut the yarn with a sharp scissors so with your scissors you will cut a piece of yarn to attach all of it uh, after you have cut the yarn so that's why you need very sharp because there's a lot of yarn so after that you put that yarn and you will tight and do a knot on it very tight I always go with a double uh, yarn to make sure that it's tough enough because it's uh, already happened to me to broke in my hand it was not fun so after that you open your little gadget and you open it like this and you shake a little bit your pom pom and voila it's perfect only have to cut a little bit of pieces like that and it's perfect that's why I love the pom pom clover maker there's time to attach the little tail so to attach the little tail I will take my wool needle and check if it's the right place so that way I could sit my uh, little rabbit or bunny so I go one side like this and I take the other one and I will go the opposite side and I will do a knot after that so that way the little tail will stay in the same place and not be loose it's gonna be tight there's already two feet on my little bunny those was my uh, little try the before of the video and I will show you how to do it not 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 too long like right now <laughs> so cast on your buddy feet I use very thin yarn because it was I only a the machine ball of white that I have my yarn it's a small it in yarn so that's why cast I double on it one in the front one in the back for the first row when I arrive here, since I have two there, open different the yarn, leader, I will and because there are one two in yarn, this put one in hole, down and in the hole, on and the top one like in this. the upper hole. So I will turn the machine, and remember, you need four bunny feet. open the yarn feeder and I will grab my wool needle that I buy on Amazon and I will go cast off the machine by taking stitch by stitch with my yarn needle you don't see it right now but you're gonna see it soon right there if you're not sure how to do the cast off I have a lot of my video I always showed it in my uh, video but this one hmm, I didn't get the, f the first part but sorry for that so you did your eight rows of white for your little uh, feet so you need four like this and I will pull on the string there to make it a circle I pull on the other one it was a tube so I closed the one side now it's time to close the other side there you go And I will re 
close it to give it a little pom-pom shape it's very important to don't grab closer stitches try, try to keep like three or four space between them three or four stitches space between them and then after that you will pull on it <coughs> sorry there you go I have my little ball to do my feet and I close it with a double knot I already have two feet and this is the third one I will show you how to attach it so I grab the body and then pick in the feet to make sure that it's it's uh, well attached I put my my needle in the middle of the body so I will go attach the other feet in the other side and I will attach it like the three other feet by take one stitch on the feet one stitch on the body The little bunny is cute like this. If you don't like the face that I put on, on the picture of the video, it's okay to leave it just like this. It's cute too. Or if you like to uh, put a little button for the nose and eyes, it's an option too. So I always hide my tail of yarn in the body. So that way, even if the kids play with it, there's no uh, little tail that coming out of the little uh, <laughs> so now to time to take time to take time to make the first eye to do that you could use a yarn needle to prevent your uh, yarn to be too tight and deform your bunny or use uh, just a pick like this it's a uh, that I use for my uh, little loom so it will keep my yarn to be uh, all the same so not too tight so I do a double knot cut the yarn remove my pick and I like this little eye I never put any uh, plastic I cuz I have small kids to come home so I don't want them to be hurt by some pieces that come apart it's sure it could look better with the plastic eyes but I will continue to make it with yarn just for the safety of my little kids so I do double knot I don't like this eye. I will have to fix it a little bit. I did not make enough circle around my pick, so I will fix it like this. I will 
get out my uh, needle in the tail uh, under the tail if it's getting too tight you could use the the needle to loosen it a little bit loose loosing it oh I'm not sure if it's a word <laughs> sorry for that but to prevent to be too tight <laughs> so I like this eye and I will go eye the tail in the body like I did for the other eye there almost done loosen it a little bit there and in the bag you just use the tip of your needle and go like this lift the project and it disappears so time to make the little mouth I use my pick again oh yes uh, please don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you so I turn uh, around it like I did for my eyes I know I'm not a professional on the face uh, but I do my best and the kids love it so if the kids love it I'm happy with that if you're better I'm, I'm happy for you <laughs> I'm sure you are because <laughs> I'm not that good with faces pull on on my yarn not too much fix it with the tip of my needle a lot of you guys ask where I take my uh, needle uh, it's called a wool needle pack of three and it's sold on the Amazon you can get it also at the Walmart online I think I really like those needles some people don't eh, but me I like it so that's it for the little uh, bunny for tonight hope you enjoy it see you later ciao ciao